Hey y'all, Tim here. Well, today I'm gonna be showing you how to trim your spare ribs down into St. Louis style cut ribs. So uh, I got a rack of spare ribs here. It's kind of real easy to trim them up and um, cut them into St. Louis style. A lot of people doing competitions like the St. Louis style or, or like to cut their spare ribs down into the St. Louis style ribs because it makes it more even. Um, it makes the rib look a lot better, especially when turning in on competitions and stuff. And um, yeah, so um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So uh, let's get started. All right, got a got a big old thing of spare ribs here. As you can see, there. I've already um, took the membrane off the back of it. I figure everybody can figure out how to do that. So um, all right, how I like to start out is um, there's this uh, flap right here. I like to go ahead and cut this off. And don't throw this meat away. Keep this meat, I'm gonna keep this meat. Um, there's other uses you can use for all this meat you're cutting off. <clears throat> all right, put the stick right there. All right, what you want to do, you want to look at your bone structure. I hope y'all can see this through here. You look at your bone structure and find your longest bone. Um, normally, it's going to be probably four or five bones from the end here, right up top here. What you want to do is come to the longest bone, and right above the bone, if you'll grab one bone like this and move it, you can feel the cartilage bending in here. See how that's bending? Which is bone is not going to bend. You're not going to cut through the bone. You're cutting through the cartilage right above the bone. So you want to find the, uh, the longest bone, which is right up in here. Go right above it to where the cartilage is, where it bends, and uh, just cut down through it. All right, now that you've got the longest bone marked and you got it cut through there, um, let me turn these around. All right, what you want to do is just come straight out. Just um, kind of follow a straight line and cut it straight out. So I did this side first, all right? Now, flip it back around. Board moving around here, all right. And now, here's my straight line, and I'm just gonna keep coming this way along a straight line, or as straight as I can get it, so. And it comes off like that. And like I said, don't throw this away. This is this is very good meat. What I'm gonna do, whenever I cook these, I'm gonna put this on the smoker with it. Then um, after they get done, I'll take some of this and put them in uh, Ziploc bags and freezer bags. And I freeze this meat right here already cooked and already smoked. The next time I'm doing some green beans, I'll take out one of these and throw it in with the green beans or the uh, collard greens. I mean, this is really good meat. It's real good for flavoring things. So, all right, anyway. Now, as you can see, I've got the, the ribs kind of straight here. It's kind of a St. Louis style. It's kind of a little thicker on this end, but it will. And uh, that's how you do it. Now, what I like to do is the last rib here. It's, uh, if you can see how small that meat is there, that's just going, it's just too small. It's just going to burn up. So, right at the last rib, Cut the very last rib off and square these up. Same thing in actually on this end. So I've got that little char where they cut it. So on this end, what I'm gonna do is go right beside the last bone here and straighten them up. All right. And now, I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, this, you know, I did this right here. This side's a little bit thicker than this side. My line's not completely straight, but it's okay. It's gonna take some practice. And, uh, but that's how you do it. That's how you cut St. Louis style ribs out of spare ribs. All right, thank you for watching. 